Lily's Sea Salted Caramel Milk Chocolate Bar. Let's see how this tastes. I thought you guys may as well come along on the journey while I do this too. So it's open and you can see there's like very visible salt crystals and it's a very distinct, like very distinct caramel flavor smell. Uh, it smells like a candle I've had before, but I'm excited because I really like salt and chocolate together. So let's give it a whirl. Mmm. Ooh. It's salty. Mmm. So good. Really good texture, really good mouthfeel. It's melting quickly. It's not waxy the way some sugar-free chocolate is almost like those um, shells over like a dipped ice cream cone at Dairy Queen or something. This is not like that at all. I and mean, it's not melting so fast that you think it's like straight coconut oil because coconut oil toppings will melt like really quickly and almost be greasy. This really feels just like regular chocolate, you guys. It is super, super tasty. Uh, you know, good, good melting point, good mouth feel. And even though it's a milk chocolate, it's not overly sweet. And that's probably because of the salt. And that's probably why I like salted chocolate so well. So if I had to rate this bar at a 10, it's probably getting a nine or a nine and a half. I've had a lot, lot of sugar-free and no sugar added chocolate over the years. And Lily does it the best in my opinion. And if you're a caramel fan, you know, I'm kind of disappointed it's not like a caramel bar or something that you can pull the caramel and, you know, that there's no gooey caramel in the middle. But that would probably require a lot of sugar alcohols and that can give you GI distress. So this actually isn't a bad thing. It's a good way to still get the caramel flavor and lots of crunchy flakes of sea salt, but with no GI distress. So yeah, nine and a half out of ten. Hope you try it.